Remember when Edge got a fresh new look? That was all thanks to Chromium, Google's open source web browser projects, basically the IKEA of browsers and easily customizable. But Microsoft wanted Edge to have its own personality, a unique flair. So they built their own UI components using React, the trendy new design tool everyone was raving about. But hold up, Edge isn't entirely a React app. It's a cocktail of HTML pages sprinkled with many React apps. Menus, dropdowns, favorites, tabs, they are all React driven. Sounds cool, right? But there's a catch. This setup isn't exactly efficient, especially for static UI data. And Microsoft started questioning React's role in this inefficiency. Classic Microsoft, probably. Fast forward to May 28, 2024. Microsoft published an article claiming React's inefficiency as the culprit behind Edge's sluggish performance. The code bundles, basically giant zip files of all the JavaScript code, were ballooning faster than a fat empowerment feminist in quarantine, and these bundles were slowing Edge down to a crawl. Microsoft used client-side rendering with JavaScript for the UI. Combine that with multiple React apps across the browser, and you've got a recipe for chaos. They didn't start multiple React projects, but reused a single JavaScript bundle everywhere. This bundling technique meant to optimize backfired. And now Microsoft subtly points the finger at React. But hold on, there's a twist. It turns out Microsoft wasn't exactly using React in the most efficient way. Apparently, they forgot the golden rule of code organization modularity. Imagine a team of chefs each making their own delicious dish, but they all share the same giant pot of ingredients. Every chef keeps adding their own secret ingredient, and eventually it's just a giant, unidentifiable, overspiced mush. That's what happened in Edge. Team sharing code meant everyone was stepping on everyone else's toes, resulting in a chaotic kitchen. They basically glued together a bunch of mini React apps into one single unwieldy structure. Forgetting that React Native, the framework specifically for building cross-platform apps, was right there waiting for them, like a perfectly curated Spotify playlist ready to be discovered. Microsoft is still into React with projects like React Native for Windows, macOS, and Xbox. Yet, they're throwing shade at React for Edge. Seems contradictory, right? Well, Microsoft argues that using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript or React for basic UI components is outdated. They're pivoting to something new. So, what's the fix? Spoiler alert, React wasn't the problem. The issue was Microsoft's implementation. Instead of leveraging React's strengths, they misused it, sharing bloated bundles across teams. React isn't slow, it's the chaotic bundling and multiple instances that bog things down. Anyway, Microsoft decided to take a stand against this code chaos, declaring war on it. Okay, not exactly a war, but they did decide to ditch it for their new custom framework, Web UI 2.0, Microsoft's custom framework. This markup first architecture trims down code bundles, minimizing JavaScript during initialization. It's a sleek solution to the mess they created. Microsoft has started using this new architecture to solve both problems they manufactured. So the developers at Microsoft created a problem by their own doing, and they created a brand new framework to solve the problem they invented. Well, at least they're still employed, unlike the Python team at Google.